Hi there, it's time for a new beta of Fractal Architect for iOS. And uh, what's new this time is mainly two things. A super easy way to make layers and on the iPad uh, there's also a feature that is not on the iPhone and that is multi-window. I will show you what we can do with that and I will show you also uh, some bugs that has been fixed. You can just drag with your finger from the side here, like this, and you get this uh, settings pane. You can, of course, as always, hit the arrow here up here in the upper left corner. It's the same thing. There is a very easy way to make layers. What you do is just hit edit and you select the frames that you want to make layers of. I hit the quick look icon here. And hey presto, layers. Super easy. And you can of course try different uh, different combinations very easily. Um, if you want to make more than one layer, that's no problem. Next take those two again and we take these rings down here and now we have reselected the um, fractals and as you can see we have three layers very easy uh, I don't want three layers now so let's take these two uh, the, when working with layers I find it um, it helps to think of centerpieces and backgrounds like this green fractal here in the upper row that's a beautiful centerpiece and a background here you had a hole you have a hole that uh, this uh, centerpiece will fit in and you will get this very beautiful effect so it's um, a new way to work with fractals if I want to save that as a layered fractal now, I can save select it as layers. I can't put it in the in the favorites as layers right now. I don't know if that will come later or if it's not practical to do that. But uh, I save it as a, as a fractal. And you see now here comes the multi window thing in. Uh, it's a little bug here that if when you open this uh, uh, fractal here it doesn't show up here until you go back to the frames and select it again like that but you can now uh, go from here to the variance editor and it opens in the left window here uh, that's very handy I will show you what we can do with that. So let's send, change some things, symmetry and variation weight. Let's see what we can do with that. And uh, If you have uh, two layers that doesn't seem to fit together, don't worry about that. Look at the structure, not the colors, because when we run them through the variance editor, they tend to be matched together, so they do fit. Uh, so let's take now Say we want to we go back here in in the right pane Fractal 11 here up in the corner. We go back so we see the uh, the fractal frames and I want to have this one so I grab it and then I can drag it here Like that and it's instantly saved to disk. I make some new runs here Say I want to have these two that I want to I want to, to save I can take hold of the first one begin to drag that one and tap the other one or I might want this two now I have three you have a little uh, batch that says three there three there and I drag them over here that's a very easy way to collect good fractals uh, if I do like this Let's go to that one, and I want to 
make some variants of that one. I tap the variants icon and it opens variants in the left pane. And I can continue to find good stuff. Well, I made a quick look there now, not what I meant to do. Let's go back there. I have to make another run because I uh, happened to press that one twice. Like this. And I can continue. Take that one for instance. No! <laughs> I got butterfingers! Like that. Okay, that's multi windows. And if I don't want a window, I close it like that. When you have worked a session with Fractal Architect, if you, I go here, take out the dock, and I long press the icon, show all windows. This is Swedish, but uh, in English it says show all windows. And here I have all open windows. You see, I have four here now. So you can easily build up a lot of uh, windows. So if you uh, tap something and nothing seems to happen, it's quite possible that it opens in a window that is in the, in the background. So check that. Well, that's layers and that's multi-windows. Uh, we can take one of those. Do I find it here now? No, I don't. Where is it? Oh, it's, uh, I have to open it again. Did you saw that I get a grey uh, screen there and it didn't get this black pane with open file and uh, new fractal and stuff like that. And when that happens, just go to another app and go back and it will return again. That's another bug that is not quite squished yet. Let's open that one again that we saved. Uh, on my iPad, Fractal Architect, Fractals. And there it is. So open that one. And let's work with let's work with that one. Close that pane and I go into the into the triangle editor, the X form editor. You can see here I had two layers. I can solo the layers. Uh, let's see the centerpiece there, which layer is that? Uh, is this first one. Now, if I want to change something in that layer, I can go here, or other way, I go on the other one, because I want to say that this layer is not editable. Uh, so I don't want to edit that one. Like that. And if I now change this, you see I only change the centerpiece here. I do it with the usual uh, zoom gestures by pinching my fingers, like that. So that is very easy. I can also, of course, make it smaller and move it around. Let's do something different. I don't want it in the center. I want it like that. So it looks like it has fallen down. Uh, and you can do that even if you have several layers, more than two layers. And that actually works better than on Mac. Uh, so it's very easy to uh, adjust the fractals. Uh, what's more? Well, we have, we let's go back here. Uh, we have an addition here that is very good. Uh, if I go to this Julia here, the first X form in the first layer, and I want to change that, I go to Graphical Editor, and I 
try to move it around and I find something that I like. Say I like that one. Now I have this add to favorites here too. So I can add that to favorite. And um, I can change. I can add something. Let's add something there. Add child. Let's add a B circle. Like that. I like that too. And I can, of course, put that, add that to favorites. And if I want to change the B circle, I want to change the weight of it to something else, like that one. I have the add to uh, favorites here too. So when you go exploring and you find something that you like, it's very easy to save it to favorites now. You can go to favorites now, now and you see I have all those versions that are saved. Another thing, if I go, if I take that one, and I go to the uh, variance editor, I bring up the pane here. Uh, now, uh, normal mixins and final mixins work. So if I want to add a final mixin, I select that, and I go here to final transform, and I find something that I want want to add as a final transform I want to add what? I want to add a Julian like that and I have a Julian added as final transform and the same can be done with normal variations uh, well I think that's about it actually I think I've shown you everything now. When I um, make fractals, uh, I think I told you I tend to look for backgrounds and centerpieces, and I collect a lot of them, of them in, in the favorites. So if we take this one, uh, that one, yes, come on there, edit. I want to use those. I put it in the stash. And I make another another roll with the digital dice. I like all those colors in the second one there. I like that centerpiece there. Let's try that and take this one and I'll take that one and I'll take this one. Which leaves a nice hole to be filled by the, another fractal. And let's make something new here. Uh, skip the rings two. And we put instead diamond like that. Uh huh. I can tweak this uh, how long I need to, but um, to make this video short, I don't want to go into the details that much. I will try to behave. It's hard for me, you know that. I tend to make long videos. Oh, I like that centerpiece, yes. So let's take that one too. Let's see if we find something more in this run. Oh, yes, we did. That one and that one. So, now what we, do we have in favorites? Go to the stash. We have the, that rolling fractal there. And we wa might want to try to combine that one and that one. Now you don't have the eye here, so you have to go to the menu here. Lay it quick look. I say I like that. So, when I have found a combination that I like, but I want to have it in the stash, I can append select it as layered. And there it is, in the stash. I would like that uh, function on, uh, in other other places too, but I have to talk to Stephen about that, if that is possible or not. So, it's the same in favorites, if I, no, no, in variants, I mean, if I go here, and I make a roll, that 
don't seem to be the one that I wanted. Oh, I hit the wrong variants. I need to hit this variant to get variants of this one. And I want to change some things here. Like that, and symmetry. And I find something here that I really like and want to save. I want to save that one. And here, uh, I can save it of course to favorites, like that. But if I find something here that I want to layer, I want to layer that one, which already is two layers. And I want to layer that with, well, that one. It, look, it will look crazy, but anyway, I want to see how it looks. Then go up to the menu and lay the quick look. And it looks like that. And um, say that I like that. I don't. I don't like it. It's ugly. But I uh, say that I like it. And I want to add it. I have to select... Uh, save selected as layered. So it will end up in in a, a new fractal here, like this. And from here, I can put it in the favorites. I think that is it for now. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments to this video or in the FA Open Beta user group at Facebook. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching.